Hey, what's up everyone? Um, I decided to do this video with my uh, 1080p 60 GoPro Hero 6 camera just to show you uh, how smooth the motion flow is on standard. If you keep motion flow on standard and you keep scene motion at high, you are going to get a really nice less judder smoothness on the picture. And I'm using this uh, Wipeout Omega collection for that example because on this demo everything's moving in a motion flow. And you will see when we start to race, you will see just how fast uh, and less juddery everything is here with uh, GoPro Hero 6 camera. Here we go. Ready? Steady. Go. It's super smooth, man. There's barely any judder. Now, this is a type of a game where I recommend that you guys use the motion flow. And it's uh, very important that you keep the motion flow on standard. Don't exceed it too much. If you exceed the motion flow too much, and you're trying to reduce that judder, then you're going to lose uh, a little bit of that uh, soap opera effect. It's going to be too much jud uh, judder jumping uh, on a picture. So my advice would be just to uh, keep the motion flow at standard and cinema motion flow at high. That would be my recommendation. Now I'm going to show it to you guys in a minute. Uh, the reason I'm recording this in a 1080p 60 uh, FPS because I want you guys to see just like how how smooth this thing really is. And what you're seeing here it's really like this. I'm not pulling any tricks. What you're seeing here it's being synced in with my 1080p 60 GoPro Hero 6 camera and the motion flow it's uh, doing its job now a lot of people say to me well why is it that you're always showing a motion flow from Sony well I hate to break it to you guys but uh, Sony has the best motion flow on the televisions it's not just me saying this you can go to uh, ratings.com you can go to digital uh, foundry not digital foundry the uh, digital trends ratings.com uh, you can ask uh, Quantum Apostasies, he will tell you the same thing. He will tell you that the uh, Sony TVs have the best motion flow built-in technology because of the x processing chip. Now, 930E has extreme uh, one processing chip. So, if you have an extreme one processing chip, then the uh, motion flow will be even less juddery and more smoother so here let me show you what I'm talking about now let me go over here and after this video I gotta get some sleep guys uh, I got a lot of things I gotta do tomorrow so I'm doing this for my subscribers because I appreciate and love my subscribers okay I know they you know support me and I give something back for them too so let me go to advanced settings uh, let's go to the motion. This is what I was talking about. Keep the motion flow at standard. And keep the cinema motion at high. This is pretty much all you have to do. And I guarantee you, with this game, uh, with the racing games, with a game like this, Wipeout uh, HD Omega, you're definitely going to notice that difference. The reason I would not put it to a smooth, because when you put it as smooth, there's still uh, more judder. For some reason, I have noticed when I keep it at standard, uh, and not at standard, uh, when I keep my motion flow at smooth, there seems to be a little bit more judder. That's because the smoothness, it's higher. 
on the uh, what you call it on the smooth motion flow now the one you are seeing here what you are seeing here the smoothness maximum and clearness zero this is something I have on my custom let me show you what I'm using on my custom really quick hold on let me uh, let me show you uh, the custom one that I have this is a custom one the custom one it's like everything set to the maximum oh my god how did this happen I'm sorry guys I just realized holy shit there's no judder guys holy mother Wow. No, there's there's even less jutter here. Oh my goodness. Hold on, let me see some. Oh yeah, this bear man uh, guys. This is why Sony has the best motion flow, okay? Uh I'm glad I did this video. And I'm glad by accident that I moved my motion flow to the custom. It really shows just how, how smooth. And this is Sony X900E. Imagine 930E. Ask my friend, my good buddy, Dirty Sprite. He will tell you the 930E X1 Extreme Processing Chip. Or you can even ask Quantum Apostasies. He will tell you. He's another great YouTuber. He will tell you just like outstanding processing on just the, the chip itself is just outstanding man listen i have to hand it to sony they know how to make a good motion flow on their tvs and this is exactly why in august i'm gonna get a1e oled because it has that extreme one processing chip plus oled so that's a bonus uh so uh there you have it guys it looks very smooth so that's it it's just a short little video i'm glad that i did this video so yeah so cranked up that motion flow all the way high okay so here let me show you so go ahead and cranked up this this sucker right here Use the custom one, clank, uh, cranked up the smoothness all the way to the maximum, and put the cinema motion to high. Leave the clearness at zero. You don't want to touch this. This is only going to dim your picture and you lose the soap opera effect. Keep the smoothness all the way to the maximum, and keep the cinema motion high. So smoothness maximum and cinema motion high. And you will see just how high and fast this thing's gonna move. All right, guys, take care. Love you all. Have a good one. I'll see ya. I'll see you later, alligators. I got to catch some sleep, man. Later. Ciao. Bye. Good night. Good night.